Hüt! It's shocking how much work there is to do, even for the three of us. And she's been handling it alone all along. The Chi Sing secretary clearly isn't an ordinary person. It's so frustrating. Huh. You're just... Aren't you Ningguang's servants? How come you're here? <clears throat> we are Miss Ningguang's private secretaries, not servants. <sighs> Have you seen this Ganyu traveler? It has been several days since Ganyu left for Joyun Karst. She's the general secretary of the Liyue Chising. We've only taken over her responsibilities until she gets back. Ah, even though the Chising have made peace with the Adepti after the latter had denounced Liyue, they still want to pay their respects to the Illuminated Ones. They commissioned Ganyu as their envoy to deliver a letter to Julian Karst and bring the Adepti the latest news about the crisis. Still, Ganyu should have been back to her usual responsibilities by now. But she's disappeared without a trace. Is that so? Maybe Ganyu just took a little detour. Who can blame her after working so hard? I'm afraid it's not very likely. Ever since we met Ms. Ganyu, she's been nothing but the most conscientious person in all of Liyue. Even when it's time for her annual leave, Ms. Ganyu stays on duty at Yuahai Pavilion saying, There is still so much to do. She couldn't possibly be using her mission as an excuse to slack off. Oh, Paimon sees how it is. But she's half adeptus. She wouldn't get in trouble, right? Why do you look so upset? <sighs> it's because of this absurd workload of hers. <sighs> when we first heard the three of us would be taking over for Miss Ganyu, we thought it would simply be a matter of changing our work environment. <sighs> we couldn't have imagined that Miss Ganyu's daily workload far exceeds what the three of us are used to do doing. Speaking of Julian Karst, Traveler, I've heard that you can go in and out of there as you please. Of course! We've been there lots of times! Ah, oh, that's good news. Could you go to Julian Karst and find Miss Ganyu for us? Preferably before we collapse under this workload. Ah, oh. ah, oh, we're saved. I remember Miss Ganyu said that she'd be visiting Cloud Retainer's abode. You might as well start looking for her there. It's about time she came back to work. Otherwise... Oh. No, perhaps we should go to Lady Ningguang first and bring up our overtime pay again. So Ganyu left to visit Cloud Retainer. Doesn't she live in Mount Aozong? We can find her there. Standing over there! That's Ganyu! We finally found her! Ganyu! Here you are! You two. I did not expect to meet you here. Is it official or private affairs that bring you here? Oh, I shouldn't. 
I have left the human world. Please contact the Yua High Pavilion regarding matters concerning the commercial port. Huh? You don't want to be the Chising secretary anymore? But they're all waiting for you to come back! That's why you're here? You want me to come back? I'm afraid you came here in vain. What? Did something happen? The clouds fold and unfold. The tide ebbs and flows. It was meant to be. When the Adepti entrusted humans with overseeing Liyue, I knew it was only a matter of time until I had to leave. My Adepti blood makes me unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. I delivered the letter and came back to Liyue Harbor, only to discover that I had been replaced by Baiwen, Bai Shao, and Bai Shu. Perhaps that mission of mine was just a pretext to remove me. Since the Chi Sing gave me a chance to leave with dignity, I decided to be tactful as well. I appreciate your kindness, but there's no need for your words of comfort. After a thousand years away, I came back to Juyun Karst. Looking at the clouds floating among the mountains brings me peace of mind. I feel better now. Uh, but... Who disturbs the peace of these mountains? Cloud Retainer, we're terribly sorry, we just... <laughs> One merely jests. One felt your presence the moment you set foot upon this land. Wow, you Adepti really are impressive. Come here to chat about the old times with Ganyu. It looks like you get along quite well. <sighs> ah, a matter leaves you at an impasse then. Not to worry. One is exceptional at seeking avenues for conversation. One has been one's own companion in idle talk for many a year. Ah, yes. Since you are Ganyu's friends, tales from her youth shall one apprise you of, perhaps? Oh, Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Nothing to be ashamed of. You were so cute as a child. One is most certain that your friends would like to hear of it. Oh, Paimon wants to hear it? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Little Ganyu loved when the horns on the top of her head were caressed. When one was still taking care of her, one was pestered most often to touch her horns. She was elsewise loath to sleep. <sighs> Plump she was back then. Why, when she stumbled while we ascended the mountain, she would roll down to the bottom like a little ball. The day Ganyu bumped into a pilgrim was the first time she saw a real human in the flesh. So fearful she was that she hid in a rock's cleft for two days and nights. One found her wailing of a monster she had seen. <laughs> Cloud retainer? Uh, forget it. It's about time for my training. I will take my leave. Ah, one's intention was merely to relieve the awkward tension. And you did the exact opposite. Impressive! Be that so? Huh. But returning to Ganyu, most gladdened one is of your arrival. One cannot help but feel that remaining in Jueyun Karst shall not be good for her. One will tell you more about her, if you should permit it. Most benevolent among all Adepti are the Chilin. They drink only spring water and eat only whole grain. But perhaps the mountainous dwellings of Adepti in Joyun Karst might be too lonely for her human side. Under moonlight did one see her last. She stood by the precipice's edge, and upon the mist-veiled mountains she gazed. Her thin figure was immersed in the vast sea of clouds. One noticed her loneliness and sought to convince her to go back to the human world. But just then, she said thus. Leo Harbor feels even lonelier than Juyun Karst. When I look at the sea of clouds in Juyun Karst, I merely feel the loneliness of a solitary cloud gazer. When I step into the sea of people in Liyue, 
I feel the loneliness of an inhuman that doesn't belong in the human world. One did, by chance, hear this much of Ganyu's thoughts. Alone, she will find her predicament hard to conquer. One hopes that you will accompany her. Oh, Retainer's right. We can't leave Ganyu depressed like that. Besides, Liyue hasn't given up on her. She's got it all wrong. Anyways, what's that training Ganyu was talking about? She has sought to reclaim her adeptus side since returning to Joyung Karst. At her behest, one has organized training for her to achieve that end. She should be in the southern part of Mount Aozong right now, preparing for the trial. Huh, is that so? Let's go take a look then! Why did you come here? Ah, uh, I... Uh, humans should not remain in the realm of Adepti for too long. Hmm. Considering the kindness you have shown me, I can let you stay for the Adeptus training. Yay! This trial was prepared by Cloud Retainer. Its goal is to help me feel like an Adeptus again. The training is much to her signature style. I hope it won't make it seem like she is too unaware of the abilities of others. Is it difficult? No, I'm aware of your strength, Traveler. The power hidden within you is not inferior to mine. If you're ready, we shall begin the training. a lot of gliding around. It does feel like something Cloud Retainer would come up with. If you could see through the eyes of an Adeptus, you wouldn't be so surprised.
we've completed the task. What do you think? I agree. You possess many qualities similar to those of Adepti, despite having none of their blood. Ganyu, what were you planning to do once your training was over? The training's not over yet. The part prepared by Cloud Retainer is only the first trial. Huh? So there are more trials prepared by other Adepti? No. The only Adeptus who can unlock my true potential is... Who is it? Conqueror of Demons. Huh. So it's Shell. That cold-hearted loner? How come he's prepared a trial for you? I found him unapproachable at first, too. But I believe that being able to face him is an important part of my homecoming. He's already waiting for me. Come along if you're interested. Of course we are. You're half an hour late. I see you still haven't abandoned the wrongful ways of humankind. I'm sorry. I had a meeting with Cloud Retainer. I... I don't need your explanations and don't require any mutual understanding between us. I'm just helping you with your training. That's all. Xiao is such a strict teacher. You're neither an adeptus nor a human, always treading the line between the two worlds. It must create a lot of confusion. Instead of explaining yourself to me, you should face your true self. I... I have nothing to hide. The body and the mind are one. If something worries your mind, your body can help you find a solution. The trial I've prepared for you will explore the true potential of your body. Yes. <sighs> I'm ready. Burn! 
point of ice and frost. Blaze over. I've completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Seeking other people's validation, only you can evaluate the result of this trial. You'll progress faster that way. Um, understood. Xiao always has such strong opinions. From tomorrow on, I'll start raising the difficulty of your training, so you'll have to... <sighs> I have to do what? <sighs> Another one of those pesky visitors. I'll leave him to you, Ganyu. It's also a part of your training. Pesky visitor? So even here there are those that Xiao can't deal with? Oh, oh heavens! Blessed be Rex Lapis! I've finally come upon the Adepti! Are all of you the Adepti of this mountain? Uh, great! My name's Sin Chung. I came to ask for your merciful blessings, O oh Adepti. I beg of you, please grant me luck, wealth, and a good career. Oh, so it's a pilgrim. I am also one of the... Perfect. I didn't come in vain then. Although you sound a bit half-hearted. It uh, doesn't matter. What blessings can you grant me? Wow. Straight to the point, huh? Dear pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every pilgrim for free. For free? Do you mean that you charge people for the blessings of the Adepti? Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. What I'm trying to say is that everything should be earned through hard work and earnest living. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything you wanted for no reason. Hold on, hold on. I've heard this all before. You're just like my old man, always nagging. Your father must have experienced it firsthand. The lives of the common folk are riddled with hardships but are also full of joy. A person of your age should focus on work and family, instead of chasing after fairy tales. Are you a real adeptus? Why do you speak and behave like us city folk? You sure you're not one of those swindlers who poses as an adeptus to cheat people out of their money? Ugh, how dare you reprove me? I bet you came here looking for the adepti yourself. Mm, he might sorta have a- uh, Enough! Doesn't matter if you're a real Adeptus or not, you're useless. I'm leaving. <laughs> Nobody's stopping you. Uh... Ganyu, don't let that guy ruin your mood. Uh, it's not his behavior. The things he said... He was right. I thought that coming back to Juyun Karst and devoting myself to training, but being questioned by him made me realize that I... But... I'm unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. As an Adeptus, I... It's true! Just believe us! Uh, 
All right. I'll go with you to Leoa Harbor. That said, I still trust my initial judgment. If I'm proven right, I'll return to Juyun Karst once again. It's a step in the right direction. Let's go! Still... Come on, Ganyu! We're almost there! You don't want to turn back now, do you? I suppose you have a point. It would be quite impolite of me to leave the two of you now. That's right! Where do you want to go first, then? I've spent too much time in the mountains. The first thing that comes to my mind is the sea. Let's go for a walk in the port. Happy to come with! The sound of the waves in this familiar port. The smell of the sea breeze makes me nostalgic. Ganyu, you didn't leave Liyue for that long. Why do you look so moved? Well, I used to be so busy. I have. Huh, that's true. Ganyu seemed to be working all the time. Well, when I think about my time here, I've spent most of it behind a desk filing documents. It put me in a certain mood, similar to the one I felt during my training in Juyun Karst, in fact. Why, isn't it Little Miss Ganyu? <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I'd meet you here. You're always so terribly busy. Th this old man called her Little Miss Ganyu. Uh, please don't also start calling me that. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce Uncle Tian. He is... That's all right. Just tell them the truth. They have done so much for Liu, after all, and I am the one who has yet to introduce myself. Uncle Tian is a member of the Liu at Qixing, the Tianshu. What? This grandpa is a member of the Qixing? The same rank as Ningguang? Hush now. I must ask for your discretion concerning my identity. Fishing in the port and strolling about are the greatest pleasures of my life. I have no wish to be followed around by those armed guards. In most people's eyes, I'm just a forgetful and wordy old man. <laughs> hmm. Uncle Tian is too modest. He's been around for a long time. There's no one who can replace a person of such noble character. <laughs> oh, little Miss Ganyu. Your kind words make me feel that my decades of hard work haven't been in vain. Uncle Tian, a person of your standing should really stop calling me Little Miss Ganyu. 
Oh, my apologies. It's not intentional, just a childhood habit of mine. Thank you for looking after me when I first ascended to my position in the cheese sing. Oh, so you've been friends for many decades now, huh? Oh, I was just fulfilling my duties as the cheese sing secretary. It's nothing worthy of your gratitude. Talking about secretaries, oh, I don't know if I should bring it up. Uh, Ganyu, I believe you know my daughter, Huesin. She seems to be a bit troubled recently. Yes, she works at Yua High Pavilion and she's my junior. How can I help her? <laughs> I don't know myself, really. Uh, She's all grown up now and doesn't like to ask for my help. May I trouble you to meet her at UAI Pavilion? She just needs a bit of guidance. With pleasure. Solving the Chi Sing's problems has always been in- She's back in character. Just like that, huh? Let's move then to UAI Pavilion. Love life again. Miss Ganyu, it's been too long. I don't know why, but seeing you brings me a sense of peace in these chaotic times. Indeed, it has been a while, Huixin. I'm flattered, but aren't you exaggerating a little? I heard that you've encountered some problems and came to see if I could be of some help. <sighs> My father asked you to come, didn't he? Abusing his status as a member of the Qi Sing to trouble you. <laughs> don't worry. I'm always happy to help a junior colleague from Yua High Pavilion. Ganyu's not only a competent secretary, but also a great mentor. So, what can you tell me about the problem? Ugh, where should I start? I discovered something strange while organizing tax records. There are obvious irregularities in the tax declarations of two stores, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique. However, whether I question the shopkeepers or check their accounts, I, I can't seem to make any progress with my investigation. Without any evidence, my hands are tied. I see. It's not uncommon for merchants to be blinded by greed. Well, is there any solution you can advise? Naturally. I've dealt with similar issues hundreds of times. Give me a moment to consider the best approach in this scenario. All right. Um, let's approach it this way, then. Your enemy knows you best. Huh? If I remember correctly, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique are old business rivals, competing for market share due to their similar wares. Hmm. In that case... In that case... Ah! I know what you mean, Miss Ganyu. Exactly. Let's start with Wanyo Boutique. The owner's name is... Bolai, isn't it? Uh, yes, you're right. Follow me, please.
can't beat the atmosphere here in Lima. Aha! We meet again, traveler. And you must be from the Yuhai Pavilion? <laughs> I suppose you're about to place a big order. I'd be honored to offer you my wares. That won't be necessary, Mr. Bolai. Wanyo Boutique's credit isn't... Should we need to place such an order, we would certainly go to Second Life instead. What? Second Life? Ugh. That rascal Dongsheng. He's stealing all of my customers. Well, Second Life's credit has always been excellent, and based on their tax records, their business is thriving. Ha ha ha! Hmm. Tax records? Huh. <laughs> thriving? Huh. Is there anything you'd like to share with us, Mr. Bolai? Don't let that rascal fool you. I know his dirty tricks best. If you don't believe me, show me his tax records. I'm sure I'll find something fishy in there. You know Second Life's business so well? Of course! Ugh, their every transaction makes my blood boil. I'd rather lose money myself than see that rascal make some. Well then, please look over this tax record. We'll review Second Life's credit based on your observations. Oh, of course. I'll read very, very carefully. Line by line and word by word. Ah, here I found it! That exquisite wooden furniture set he bought from Fanmu Carpenters at the beginning of the year. Ugh, he even flaunted it in front of me. Look at the tax record. Not a word about that furniture. And he kept all the profit for himself. I see. He must have gotten rid of all the documents related to this transaction. No wonder there was no trace of it. Hmm, <laughs> I told you so. Just as I expected. Ugh, I can't wait to watch him squirm. But, Ms. Ganyu, despite all this, can't he just flat out deny ever making this transaction? He might have destroyed all the evidence, but I believe the supplier, Fanmu Carpenters, might still have some proof of it. Aha, uh -huh, you're right. Master Lu from Fanmu Carpenters must still have the invoice. He wouldn't be swayed by the likes of Dongsheng. I hope so. Let's go to Fanmu Carpenters. It should be near Chingsa Village. Thank you for shining a light on this case, Mr. Balai. Oh, please, please, that's nothing. I just hope... <sighs> I'm afraid I can't go to Chingsa Village. It's all right, Weixin. You can stay in Liyue Harbor and finish your work. Leave the rest to us. Oh, that's so considerate of you. Still, I'm sorry to trouble you like that. 